was a question early on, um, Kerry, um, saying what do recruiters look for in aptitude test scores? Did you use aptitude tests when you were recruiting? Uh, we did, although we didn't find them, we did in the early days, but yep. we didn't find them um, as useful as we thought we would. Right. We actually found um, people's resume, their work history, and the ability to go back to uh, their former employers and talk to them was far more useful because we would get, it wasn't hard to get information like um, highly talented, highly qualified, very lazy. <laughs> yep. um, highly talented, lots and lots of potential, but um, come out of university thinking they know everything when really they're just at the start of their career so they don't know it all yet but think they do. Yeah. Um, and then we'd get other ones that would go, hmm, bit, a bit lower on the um, competency at the start but learned very well by experience because we all learn differently. Yep. Some of us read books and go, I can do that. Others of us go, yeah, I've read the book, you, can you show me? And once you've shown me, look, I worked with um, operators of, uh, and we're talking massive machinery. Uh, think about a two-story house in Melbourne and put three of those together and that's the size machinery these guys were working on. They couldn't read, they couldn't write, but my gosh, they were extraordinarily clever. Yeah. And what they had learned, they'd come on in their youth on a pick and shovel, but they were very numerate. They mightn't have been able to articulate numbers, but they'd look at a distance or a depth. They were fantastic, incredible people. That's the kind of information we got by uh, interviewing past employers. And the other thing I would bring out at this point is for young people particularly to be very careful of what they say and put on social media. It is a killer. We would have had gone down to the wire on, we're gonna, we're gonna focus on these 10 applicants. Um, they always had to sign uh, an agreement for us to look at their social media. Seven of them wouldn't make the cut. So, you know, please be very careful what you're saying on social media. I think that's a, it's a killer. That's a great point. We, um, we have uh, some webinars we actually run on how to set up your LinkedIn to look professional. But, um, as someone who I'm a marketing manager now, but pre previously I specialized in social media management. And uh, personally, except for LinkedIn, all of my accounts on social media are private. Um, really, I'm just on Instagram and I just post cat photos, but it's just something mm. that isn't particularly relevant to employers and no one besides my friends or family are interested in seeing cat mm. photos. Mm. So it's the kind of thing of, you know, be careful what you post. And also I would encourage you, unless you have a particular reason for it to be public that you've thought carefully about, I'd encourage you to just make your profile private as well for security mm. reasons. Absolutely. Absolutely.